In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a landing page through ConvertKit and link it up on your website slash use it as a page on your WordPress website. So the idea is we've got to set up a new form. So we're gonna to go to grow and landing pages and forms. Now actually, I was already on that page, but you get the idea. Now we're gonna scroll down and click create new over here. We're gonna pick landing page on the right. And we have a series of templates we can choose from. And depending on what we prefer, we can sort of go by layout and think about what images we would use in its place. So if we've got this one here, we want to use a picture of us or something here like a logo and a background image. We can choose something like that. There's also a bunch of categories if you want to refine by category. Otherwise, you can just simply scroll through and see if you can find something that suits you. Now, one thing to keep in mind is just obviously how much information you need on that page, whether it's minimal or a lot. And you might find there's something that some have more information, some have less. But we're going to choose something pretty basic like this one here to get started. Now, uh, it has a video there, but we're just going to choose this and check it out. And now where we've landed on the page. So it's quite simple. It's a matter of just clicking and typing where you want to change things. So I have a website called Creator Impact. So maybe I type in create a newsletter or something like that. And uh, I can just say sign up for free tips or something like that. And then maybe I'll put in a little bit of information here as well about what they're going to get out of it. So you know, Photoshop blogging, YouTube, and social media tutorials, etc., etc. You can type in something and get uh, that information on there to sort of entice people to sign up. Now there is a video section here, and this is a, a looks like it's actually a um, YouTube video. So I can go through and change some of the layout, change some of the content. If I click in here, if you don't want the first name, we can click on that and remove it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to delete field if we want to, or we can add in a custom field again. In this case, it could be the first name field yet again. Uh, so we can add and remove fields. If you want to add in more custom field label, you can change that here to something else. Uh, but I've only got a couple fields set up, so you get the idea. You can add and subtract fields pretty easily. Now, while we're here, you can also make sure the field is required or not required, change the font size of that field, colors, and all of those bits and pieces. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. And um, you can also add in tags. There's something else I forgot to mention. So you can add in a field, turn it into a tag, and you can either have it as a drop down or a checkbox to tag people and what they're actually uh, interested in. I don't have any tags set up, but if you want to set up something like, so I've got Photoshop, blogging, YouTube, maybe I have tags for those, like Photoshop, I'm interested in Photoshop, interested in blogging, interested in YouTube. I can set that up so that they tick those items as to what they're interested in, so that way they are tagged so that I only send them information that they're actually interested in. For now though, again, we're going to delete the field and we're gonna to go to general styles here. And you see we've got some more options over here on the right. So the body is a font called Rubik and the headings are Oswald. We can change these fonts to something else. And we can change the body to something else maybe simpler, such as Roboto Slab. And once again, if I click on these areas, I can change the font colors. So I'm gonna change this one to yellow or a light lime-ish sort of color. This uh, background here is white, so I'm gonna change that black, whoops, I'm gonna change that to black over here. Then just go through, change some of the colors to what I want them to be. Maybe I want that to be a little bit dulled down. And then of course the font color can be lighter over here as well. And my subscribe button, I try to make, uh, once again, a bit of a limey sort of color. And the text can be black. So now we have this lime color over here. I go back to my general styles, get rid of this background, add a new one. I can upload or choose something else, like maybe I want to go to uh, Unsplash and I search for a party or something like that, or maybe just uh, you know, artists. Add something in like this. And we've got a different background there. Now we've also got this video section here. I want to actually click to edit the video. I click on the video itself 
and I can paste a YouTube link. So I'm gonna paste one of my videos in there and I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna hit enter, X that. And of course I can then also click on this area here, find the general styles. So I click on, <laughs> the video is a little confusing, sorry, but I click on to edit the video and there's an SVG color here. I wanna make that sort of like that limey color again. I can make it the background semi-transparent. So this is just the general styles. This is where you change the video button and the modal close button. So you sort of get the idea. That is the X button there. So if I wanna make that yellow, I could do that as well. And generally speaking, wherever you go, there's going to be the general style for the whole landing page and you click on specific areas like this, or if I close out of that, or like this, to change up some of the styles. So the idea is just explore, have a bit of a play. If you've got any custom images, throw them in the background and just edit that and change that until you're happy with the form itself. When you're ready to go, you want to save that form and then we want to publish. The first thing you're going to notice is we have an address, which means we can link to that address or we can embed it using our uh, ConvertKit WordPress plugin. So I'm going to start off by copying that address and show you how you can actually set that up in your navigation in WordPress. So again, hit that copy symbol to copy that address. So now we're in WordPress. I'm going to go to Appearance and Menus. And I've got a little menu system at the very top, which is our secondary menu, but it's at the very top of my website. I'm going to go to custom links and I'm just going to, if you don't see this custom links here, I might add, head up to screen options, turn on custom links here. But I go to custom link, I paste that ConvertKit page in there. I say subscribe or whatever I want to call it and I add it to the menu. If you don't have a menu set up, I will link, there's a link in the description below showing you how to use menus on your website. But I'm going to save this menu And now we're gonna go out to the public end of the website. And now I can just hit this subscribe button and I'm taken to, it's been zoomed out because I was zoomed in before, taken to my landing page and I can view my video. And that's pretty much it. That's how we can link to it from the navigation. Now, if you're looking to actually add it as, as a page on your WordPress website, I can actually change that in my ConvertKit plugin settings. You want to install the WordPress plugin for ConvertKit. And if you don't know how to do that, there's actually a video I'm going to put a card to in a minute on the screen that you can link to. Also, it will be in the description below. But I can actually go down to edit page on this particular page I have here. And your, your editor might be different. I'm using the Divi theme here. But if I scroll down, there's a ConvertKit setting here. And this landing page now, I've only just done this landing page, so it might not be here, and it isn't. But the newsletter, the test landing page I had before are there. What I need to do is head back out to WordPress, head to my settings, head to ConvertKit. I'm just gonna click into the API key field and hit enter. So now I wanna go back to my page I scroll down, hit my landing page, and now that Broadway landing page is there. I select that, hit update, and now when I view that page, I, sorry, I refresh. This has been cached, so I did have to refresh that. But yeah, now we have our landing page there instead of my WordPress page. So it's another way you can set up landing pages on your WordPress website. So that's pretty much it. That's the video for today. That's how you get landing pages set up for ConvertKit and on your WordPress website. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like and don't forget to check out many of the other ConvertKit videos in the description below. I have a full playlist of ConvertKit videos. And uh, if you have any looking to get started with the WordPress plugin for ConvertKit, check out the card that's on the screen right now. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to speak to you again soon.